Hello, today we're looking at cancer and how it can spread throughout the body. But before we do that, we can do a quick recap on the cell cycle. We've done a video on this before, but this is literally a quick revision of that process. So we've got firstly in the cell cycle, new subcellular structures made like ribosomes and mitochondria. We then have the DNA which replicates itself to make two copies of chromosomes. The chromosomes during mitosis line up along the nucleus and get separated to two separate parts of the cell. And then the cytoplasm and cell membrane split off to make two new cells. And you can see a little summary of that in the diagram above. Now we could probably tidy up that handwriting a little bit, see if this can recognize it as text. Will it do it? Awesome, good. Right, so um, there it's tied up a little bit. We just need to add the E back to the separate, E back, the letter, not the qualification. And so this is how the cell division happens. And this is a very controlled process. So the, cell, the body is very good at controlling this process to make the cells it needs when it needs them. Now, sometimes things can go wrong and this process goes from being a controlled process to an uncontrolled process. And the reason it can become uncontrolled is because of something like carcinogens. We mentioned this in a previous video. These are chemicals that cause cancer. It could be because of lifestyle risks, for example, smoking, which contains chemicals that can cause cancer. And also it could be genetic as well. So there's various reasons why this process can become uncontrolled. And when it does, what we get is the cell dividing very rapidly and in an uncontrolled way and producing abnormal cells. And these abnormal cells or this group of abnormal cells is called a tumor. And we can divide the tumors into two main kinds. The first kind is what we call benign. So benign tumors. And the second one is what we call malignant. And it's the malignant ones that we refer to when we refer to cancer. So the malignant tumors are the cancers. And these ones are much more dangerous than, than the benign tumors. Benign tumors we just tend to describe as a group of abnormal cells or a growth of abnormal cells. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at the two types of tumor, should I say, and just compare and see what they are like compared to each other. So in terms of our malignant tumors, these tend to grow very rapidly, much more rapidly than our benign tumors. And although the benign tumors do grow faster than cells in the normal cell cycle, they don't grow quite as quickly as the malignant tumors. So we do get more rapid growth, but not as much as with the malignant tumors, with the, as with the cancers. The benign tumors also tend to have a membrane surrounding them. And as a result of that, these cells tend to stay where they are. Whereas with our malignant tumors, the cells can actually invade neighboring tissue and they can also actually get into the blood and move around the body and make what we call secondary tumors around the body. So much more dangerous than our benign tumors. So we can now have a look at an overview of what we just said then. So we've got large cells for both large abnormal cells, slow growth for benign and rapid growth for the malignant tumors. Benign tumors tend to stick together, whereas the malignant ones can spread much more easily. We have an outer membrane on our benign tumors and no outer membrane on the malignant tumors. And remember, malignant tumors can form secondary, um, secondary cancers, secondary tumors around the body. So now might be a good time to get out your revision cards. You can summarize all of this quite neatly, neatly onto one of them. So a good ASIC size one will probably do the trick. Here it comes. There's our revision card. And um, there we go. So it's a summary of the cell cycle and cancer. I just forgot to add the detail about the formation of secondary tumors there. So I've just added it on there on the left-hand side. So that's about all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.